welcome back to the video guys if you're new here thank you for tuning in and if you're returning subscriber or viewer thank you for coming back again i appreciate every single last one you got support um and if you do like what you see please do like subscribe and share anyways i'm on the Instagram searching it, I realized something that people are so evil and mean and cruel. Um, it's this British woman that went missing a couple days ago. I'm not even sure. I just read the story and it, it broke my heart because the comments people had it just instead of being, um, you know, concerned about the woman's well being. Well, they did find the woman in a shallow grave close to her home. Um, this 64 year old woman been missing she has a husband as the daughter says that it's her husband she thinks he's married and I guess they don't have a good relationship because the daughter not even sure but she said the family member told her that he was there was married her mother is 64 years old and I think the young man is 38 years old now regardless of whatever age that's her companion that's his wife okay this is what's scary he said he dropped her off at a hotel in Negro somewhere or to meet a client. I'm not sure how it really went. But like a day or so later, because he was also reported missing, they said, at one point. Then he reported that he dropped her off and called the daughter and said that he can't find the mother because he left her with some friend. To me, that whole thing is questionable from the, the get-go because you're her husband. She just came home from... Britain or London, wherever she come from, I'm not sure. I know she coming from Europe somewhere. And you want to tell me that you're going to leave your wife out of sight? You know what I mean? It seems kind of fishy. I'm not sure what to think of it. I'm not really like understanding why is it that a lot of these women are going missing when they come back from foreign or USA or Britain or wherever they're coming from coming back home to Jamaica and they have husbands most of them go missing and every time they find them it's always close to their home dead in a shallow grave somewhere the last woman that I think I remembered well one of them she was buried almost by her house as well and it seems that she was messing with the caretaker at the time that's a whole different story because we don't know what this situation was or is and but to me, the husband seemed as a suspect in a sense because I don't know what to think of him. My spouse, even though I'm a woman, my spouse come back from the USA and I'm happy to see him. Ain't no way he's gonna be out of my sight. Even if he's meeting with someone, I'm gonna be there too. Call me clingy, call me whatever you like. You're gonna meet both of us. Cause all she sell is clothes and stuff like that. So to me, I'm concerned. I'm really like wondering like what this is gonna come out to be. But they found her body by her house and that's what's concerning to me. But what's also concerning is that the first thing everyone is looking at is the age difference, which I thought was kind of like unfair to, for the, some of the comments. People, when someone you hear that someone is found buried by their home, age, whatever please stay off certain subject leave let things be let them figure it out so what she married someone younger than her men marry someone younger than them all the time and guess what you barely see them going missing right but if a woman older they marry a younger man and whatever the first thing they go is missing but what's sad is they found her body behind her home or beside her home or close to her home i don't know where the last person like i said they found her in her own garden to me i think we need to start looking at ourselves and understanding that it could be any of her any of us mother sister auntie cousin we need to have a little bit of a little heart not even a little bit we need to have a heart and understand that things can happen this situation my thing is this Stop being so quick to worry and talk about their lifestyle that they choose before. This is death. Death is something serious that we need to start taking into account that, listen, when someone passes away, it's not easy. But to be missing, then found buried in a hole, a shallow grave, 
it's a whole different story and I, and I feel bad for the families so I don't want to say too much because I really don't know much of it I just what I read but it's heart-wrenching and I think people should start having a heart and stop making nasty comments you know towards people and it was on Instagram I think it was a, several people put it up after the fact that the news reported it I read I saw it the other day on YouTube with someone else saying but I think we should all just start having a heart people stop let people business be sometimes face, face the fact in hand that she's dead she's in a shallow grave and hope and pray that her family could have some make some sense of what's going on get the you know the culprit that did this to her and her daughters I'm not sure if she has sons but I heard one of her daughter voice that they claim I don't know and I don't know what if it was really her daughter or not say, stating that she really didn't know the man she know nothing of him. She just heard that he was married to her mother, pretty much. So I'm not sure where that's going, you know. But I do feel for her as a daughter. I wouldn't want to hear that my mother is in some shallow grave somewhere. You know what I mean? But anyways, Jamaica, we need to wake up because this is going on. When it's not children, it's women. And it's mainly women and children that's being missing, killed by their spouses, by friends and family. And then we could say, yes, the guy, because he should, yes. I would say, as a man, I would be with my wife. But what if he really did drop her off? And maybe a family member or a friend, someone else, she'd call for help or, you know, to pick her up. I'm not sure. It could be anyone. And most of the time, it's someone that you know. It don't have to be family. It could just be someone that you know. So I hope that they do find the person that did this to her. You know, because it's very nice to me. For 64, she looked so young. She looked like she's in her early 40s. She looked really, really good. So, but anyways, I feel bad for them and I feel bad for the family. And that's all I have to say about it. If people stop jump, jump, jumping to conclusions because of their age or their this or their that, I get into it. And I, I'm part of it problem too because I said the husband, yeah, I'm just jumping into him that. But like I said, I wouldn't leave my spouse going anywhere. She just got home or he just got home. Man, we're like white on rice. I ain't going nowhere for that day or two. So that to me was kind of funny, but we'll see what happens. Anything else comes along, I'll get let you guys know if I'm newsy about it and I keep on seeing stuff. But I hope they find this person real quick that did this to this woman. If you came this far, thank you for watching. Um, it's just me ranting and worrying about other people's business, but it's still a life and it's still something to worry about because it hit close to home. We all that comes from Jamaica it's not a big place it's a very small place so when you hear stuff like this it touches you and when you hear over and over again it re you really have to think about it you know because it's not just happening one day or two times or three times it's happening a lot children going missing women going missing thank you guys for watching and um you guys stay tuned if you came this far please do like share and subscribe god bless